This one wasn't close. This oh, yeah. one was not a knockdown drag out affair. Yeah, this was, for all intents and purposes, Tyler, the LGD that many people were waiting to see. And they finally activate versus Rainbow Seven. Jose Diodo out oh, of, man. and, and it, yeah, our, our boy. Our out of worlds, but a great showing nevertheless. But LGD is the story here, Tyler. What, uh, what, why did it take so long, in your opinion, to see this version of LGD? And have they shown you enough that you now have a little bit more confidence in them moving forward? I have confidence in the best of five. I think they are heavy, gigantic, colossal, Goliath-like favorites versus Legacy. I think if Legacy beat LGD, it's one of the biggest upsets in League of Legends history. And this is no this is no shade to Legacy, who are a very good team fighting team. They are, as we've talked about on the show, they are a machine that's better than some of their parts. Like they are a team that plays as five. Like all their kill part kill participations are are through the roof. This is a team that excels in team fighting and getting out of the laning phase and not getting too crushed in the laning phase. We saw what happened when a team tried to lane kingdom them and in Team Liquid when uh, TL just kind of ran them out of the park with just better mechanical players and just they could never get to that team fighting stage. And I think it could be a very similar state with LGD. And it, especially if, if Peanut is where he was today. And Peanut was the player of the game for LGD. He Every single game, it was bot lane got a kill off in, in the early game. Snowball from there. Oh, it was mid lane second game. Snowball from there. Third game was top lane. Snowball from there. Every game... He was influencing the lanes early on and keeping uh, Rainbow Seven, a team that is a bit sluggish in the early game, uh, outside of their comfort zone and not letting them get to that team fighting stage where they could be, you know, a few thousand gold around and then win through some marvelous team fighting or, or Jose Diodo coming up with a big play. And Jose Diodo had a, a fantastic lease in game to end the day uh, in the game three, but LGD was just the far better team. It's no, it's it's no disrespect to Rainbow Seven. Uh, uh, they were outclassed. Uh, uh, Longji and GA were just pummeling the solo lanes all day long. Kramer is still a very big weak point for me. Kramer was quite porous. Uh, I'm kind of scared of how he would fare in a group stage of players like Reckless and Ruler and Double, uh, not Double Lift. Uh, actually, yeah, Double Lift for TSM, mm -hmm. uh, I would be really poor. Even double lift in a, you know, so-so form, Kramer was getting caught out a lot. He had some really weird moments where he took one-on-ones that he should never in a million years take. Uh, I think he's right now the weak link of the team. I think Longji is actually playing quite well in the top lane. He's often seen as maybe the weakest member of the team. But they are heavy favorites versus Legacy. Let's not make a doubt about that. If they fail against Legacy, it's a huge upset. I don't care about the group stages. This LGT team is just too stacked. And we saw what happened. Teal has shown, they have shown LGD the blueprint how to, how to beat Legacy. They have given them the blueprint of the two games that TL destroyed Legacy in. That is the blueprint for LGD. And LGD have similar mechanically talented players in GA and Peanut and Mark to make that happen. So if that happens tomorrow where, where LGD somehow loses, it's it's far worse than Mad Lions. Mad Lions mm -hmm. are rookies. They are young. They are inexperienced. Supermassive are a really good team. I think even though Supermassive lost to Legacy, I still probably in the long run, if I just take one of them, I still think Supermassive has a higher ceiling. Let LGD can't lose tomorrow. It would be far more embarrassing because they are so chock full of experience. This should not be as serious they lose. And we saw that today where they came in very similar Rainbow Seven, a team that beat them in the group stage, mm -hmm. took care of business. So tomorrow's the big test. Today was a good first sign off. They got they got a little bit of their swagger back, a little bit of their groove back, but tomorrow's a big one. They should they should be going in aiming for a three O. And if they somehow lose, it's gonna be a very spicy show tomorrow. Hard out. It's gonna be very <laughs> spicy. Just